How's it going? Welcome back to Joe Root's Hillbilly Garage and Automotive Electrical Shop. Today I'm going to install an electric brake controller on the old 2002 F350. It has the towing package on it, but that also requires an electric brake controller to operate the brakes on the trailers. Okay, so I went with the uh, Hopkins 47233 electric brake controller. This is about the cheapest, most simple to use brake controller that you can find. I've used them before and I, I really don't think the, that they need to be too complicated. It has a couple buttons for more and less sensitive on the brakes and that's about it. Now I also went with the quick connect cable for Ford for the Hopkins brake controller. It's a part number 47715. It just makes the installation a lot easier. I'll show you the difference. So if you don't have the quick connect cable, this plug fits into the plug on the truck and this one fits into the plug on the brake controller and then you wire the ends together. You have to run a ground wire, all that stuff. If you do have the quick connect cable, this plugs in here, this plugs into the truck, and makes installation very simple. Okay, so down under the truck, fuse box right here. That plug is on the right hand side of the steering wheel, way back in there. I brought a light out here, so maybe we can see back in there a little bit better. It is possible to plug this in without taking any more of the dash apart, but to plug it in while filming without bumping everything may be a different story. There we go, it started. So now that the cable is up in there, it's just a quick connection to, once I get it flipped the right way, it's just a quick connection there. And then there's one mounting bracket with two screws. I think I'm going to put it in right in here somewhere. And the instructions actually say with this, it does, oh there, look at, look at that, it turned on. The instructions actually say with this that it doesn't matter if it's level or tilted or even it said it could even be mounted upside down so I don't remember the last one I had I thought the last one ten years ago or more said that it needed to be pretty much level or maybe 20 or 30 degrees off level but this one says it doesn't matter so we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot I may end up leaving it kinda up like that a little bit and uh, that way it's not hanging down here where the passenger is going to kick it and I have to keep it all the way with the 4x4 gear shifter there. Now that material on the dashboard there, the plastic is so thin there's really no need to drill any holes those screws tap right in there. I think with it mounted there I can still reach my gear shifter all right. Should be good. Okay, we're hooked up to the trailer. This controller shows a red dot when you when you are hooked up to the trailer. And then uh, the plus and minus button are just how, how much braking it's going to apply on the, on the trailer. And then of course on wet roads and such, you wouldn't want a, a really high percentage. If you have good, good trailer brakes, it may lock up the brakes. The red button on this 
applies full braking. I think it's mainly for a test button, but it, it may have other uses. Let me know in the comments if you if you use it for anything else. So the plus and minus bring it up and down however however you like and it tells in the instruction manual how to how to adjust but every trailer is different the brakes are different on them and they all have to be adjusted individually and then when you apply the brake it's going to show you the percentage of brake being applied and then you can bump it up and down from there this was a fairly simple install mainly because this truck already has the the trailer tow package and basically it has the brake wiring running to the back to that seven way plug otherwise this would have been a lot a lot more complicated there's other videos out there on that i hope this helps someone out and happy towing and i'll see you next time take care